Hey everybody, Dan from Relevance here to talk you through release 1.26.0. Now actually in this release, we've mostly focused on internals, behind the scenes work to improve the performance and reliability of the Relevance platform. That being said, still here with three key features to update you on. The first one, and one that I know a lot of you are gonna be excited for, is that you can now share and embed agents. Now, technically, you could do this before, except many of you noticed it didn't work very well. It was very much a beta feature. You wouldn't be able to see the agent name, welcome message, emoji. You couldn't see tool names as they were executed. But now, thanks to some great work from Surya on our engineering team, the agent embed or shareable link works exactly how you'd expect it. And now you can go hog wild sharing your agents with anyone in your team or community. The second feature we've shipped is our first ever tool building wizard. Specifically, we've built one for the knowledge Q&A use case. This was by far the most common thing that we see people building on our platform. So we've made it really easy, a few clicks to get your data into our platform and have a working knowledge Q&A tool with our recommended prompts. Be sure to jump on our community in Discord and let us know what you're building on our platform. This helps us build features like the Knowledge Q&A Wizard to make that easier for everybody. Finally, a small little upgrade. We noticed that a lot of people have started inserting data into their knowledge from a tool that they're building. Previously, we had this add data to data set step that wasn't super easy to use. We're focused on reskinning that a little bit, the add data to knowledge step, easy to select one of your knowledge sets. You can even add a new knowledge set on the fly, you can click preview to go see what's in that data table. And then you can go add the data in our JSON editor. Now, we're actually gonna make this even easier in our next release where we'll be pre-filling that JSON editor with the columns in your data table. So that's a wrap on release 1.26.0. As I mentioned, a lot of the updates we've made have been a bit behind the scenes, but hopefully you will notice a more performant, reliable relevance. Be sure, as I mentioned, to jump in our Discord, give us all the feedback you have, good or bad. We're there to help. And thanks for watching this video.